Hi everybody, today I will do a review on the Godox S2 bracket. That's a Bowens mount and this is a sweet little unit. So I would like to show you how it works, uh, my thought on it and give you a few specs. So let's dive right in. First off, I would like to say thank you to Pergear for providing me with this bracket. Pergear is a nice company from the United States. They have a lot of different uh, equipment for videographer and photographer out there. Highly suggest you go take a look at the website. There will be a link in the description below that will bring you on my blog for this unit. And then you can take a look at their website right there. So thanks again Pergear for providing me with this bracket. Okay, so first let's talk about a few specs. This unit costs roughly around $30 at this time of this video, so it's a fairly cheap unit. And this is a S2 bracket. This is a little smaller than the S1 version, so they have improved a bit on the model, so it's a little bit more compact. It comes at 680 grams, so it's not too heavy, or neither is too light. So it's a nice build, a nice quality, so I guess you get a little bit more weight for that reason, so it's not crazy but still 680 gram it's not too bad okay so this will fit balance mount uh, light modifier so I'm talking about uh, soft boxes and whatnot and then there's a little hole over there where you can fit umbrellas as well so you can uh, have multi-purpose out of this little bracket and you will fit in there all of the Godox products that don't have uh, the balance mount bracket already on them so I'm talking about the 80 Pro series, the 400, the 200, the V1 around head, as well as the speed lights. So right now I have a V860 Mark II for Sony and a Canon speed light and they fit in there like a charm. So um, there is mention on the website that you can fit two of their smallest speed light, the TT350 for example, you can mount them side by side and double their power. So this is pretty interesting because those are smaller by nature and less power so you can double them up double the power and it fits super nice in there apparently I don't, know. I don't have one of those with me but you will not be able to fit two big speed lights like these one together because it's too wide okay so let's take a look at the build so in there you have a little handle there that you can basically unscrew and then you can tilt the bracket whatever way you want and then you just secure it this way afterwards. What's very neat about this handle is you can pull on it, move it into a different location, and then you can unlock and lock it from this uh, location. So when you want to store this handle, you can basically go around and then store this bracket in a very tight spot that way. So you can move the handle afterwards. So this is, I thought was a pretty neat feature. Uh, so this will come with one screw. Sorry, let me just like this. This will come with a strong screw that will be for mounting the unit onto a light stand. And what I've done is I've had another um, head and I just took one of the screw out of there and I can use that to secure an umbrella, for example. But you'll have to find another screw because there's only one included in it. After that, you do have the main unit. So, you can slide this little part out of there to get a little bit more space to fit one of those big um, lights like the 80 Pro series, for example, or the round head as well. What's very nice about this is it is rubberized as well as the bottom and the top part here. So stuff will stick in there nicely. I'll show you in a moment. So you can screw this in or out, which will move the top part. And you can fit a speed light now sideways like this if you wanted to but as I don't necessarily need to do this right away what I'll do is I'll bring this down and I'll screw this back in and I'll show you I'll use the Godox light and I'm just gonna go around and show you how sturdy this is so I would suggest you take it easy when you screw this in because you can probably damage your speed light very easily and now it is in properly 
And if I go around, I can move this and you can tell the rubberized part hold the speed back in there, no problem. So this is pretty awesome in a way that I can move this freely without any fear of me dropping the actual speed light down. So I have my Canon 580EX2, same thing, fit about the same size as the V6, V8, 60, sorry, and same idea, I can fit a Canon speed light in there, no problem. So I would imagine if you have any other type of speed light, they'll fit in there, not a problem at all. All right, so this is how you will mount stuff and this is uh, the parts in general. So I'll show you now how you will mount that onto your bounce mount soft light. So what I have here is a Godox softbox. All you gotta do is pretty easy, is you find your groove and just move it in and it locks in its place. So very easy. There's a bit of a play, just a little bit, not too much. But once it's in there, you can move this around without any fear once again of it falling down. It will stay and stay secure, no problem. So when you want to release it, it's very easy. Just lift a little pin, just twist it, and then here we go. It is free. So this is pretty awesome. And then if you wanted to, you go around to this way. I was mentioning the umbrella earlier on. So you can just put that on your light stand, fit the umbrella through this way, use a speed light, and then with that second screw that you're gonna find somewhere, you just dial it in, and then you're good to go. And that will secure your umbrella in place. So you can use soft boxes, you can use any type of light modifier to have bounce on, as well as an umbrella. So this is very versatile in my opinion. And for the price, $30, you can't go wrong, that's for sure. So here we go. This wasn't part of my kit. And now I will tell you that I will carry this around every time that I have light modifier because you never know, you might need uh, something different. You may need an umbrella, you might need um, something a little more substantial. Then one of these will do it all. So for $30, I highly suggest you guys get your hand on this. This is a great unit and a great price. Doesn't weigh a whole lot, so you can travel with it. It's not bad at all. So here we go. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, review. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the box below. And if you would like me to review the gear, or if you have any suggestions, let me know as well. I'll be happy to take a look, see what I can do for you. So once again, thanks to Per Gear for providing me with this bracket. And until next time, I say have a good day.